All right, so in this one, it's time that we actually submit and create a comment for our post. We have a way to display them, but we don't have a way to create them where they should be, which would be actually on the post detail. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is first off, we're gonna make a new property that's gonna actually get the content type for the particular model itself. And th that's so we can reference it wherever we need. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the comments property just to get the syntax and everything. And I'll do git content type, that's what I'm gonna call it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into comment models and I'm gonna copy this import here into our models for posts and bring that in. So content type, we want to actually return the content type of this particular model, right? So I'm just gonna say content type equals to objects dot get for model and it's gonna be instance dot class. And again those underscores and then we're gonna return that content type. This is this is just mainly because we're gonna set this inside of our content form, or excuse me, our comment form. So now that we've got that, let's go into our comments and we're gonna make a new form in here. We'll call it forms.py of course and we have to do from Django import forms and we're gonna make a new class and we're gonna call it comment form. And of course this takes forms.form and the first thing that we want is content type. So the content type for the model that we're gonna be working with and that's forms.char field and we're gonna do a widget of forms.hidden input. So we want the content type to be hidden, right? We don't want the user to be able to actually see the content type and then we're also gonna do the object ID the same way. So I'll just do object ID equals to forms dot, this time it's gonna be integer field. And then finally we want our content, which will be forms dot char field and widget equals to forms dot text area. Cool, so that's how I'm gonna leave this form for now, but realistically it's, we've got our content type, we've got our object ID, as well as our content. That is exactly what we wanna see. Um, and the last thing I'm, I am gonna put in here because we will come back to it, which is gonna be parent ID. And I'm gonna say required equals to false. I actually don't want to make sure that the parent ID is in there because um, this is gonna be related to replies. Um, but I'm gonna leave it in the blank for now and actually comment it out because we will come back to it. But something to start thinking about when we design forms or when we design anything actually, we wanna think about you know several steps ahead what we might need. So that's why I did that. Okay, so now that we've got this comment form, let's actually go ahead and jump in to our view, our detail view for post. And we're gonna bring this comment form in here. So we wanna import it right above comments. So from comments.forms, import comment form. And now in post detail, we're gonna say form or more specifically, we wanna call it comment form equals to comment form. And I'm gonna leave it as that for a second. And we're gonna bring it in here. So I put it in the context, the comment form is here. And the first thing I wanna do is request dot post or none. And if comment form is valid, we'll do some stuff. So if comment form dot is valid, we're gonna print comment form dot cleaned data. Okay, so we've got some, some of the basic stuff done, but we actually need to set initial data on this comment form. Now, if you're not familiar with this stuff, um, definitely check out TryJango 1.9, but we also have forms and form sets on our website on joincfe.com. Um, that will actually go into more depth of forms on, again, joincfe.com slash project. You're gonna look for forms and form sets. That covers a lot of this stuff in more detail than what we're gonna go through here. But basically what we wanna do is set some initial data. So initial data is equal to a dictionary. And this dictionary is gonna be related to the fields. So the first field was content type. And we wanna set the content type for the instance, which if you remember, we did instance.get content type. We did that at the very beginning. And it's a property, so we don't actually have to run it and use the parentheses. And then object ID, is instance.id. 
And that's the initial data. That's all we want initially. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and set this equals to initial equals to that. So we've got our initial data, we've got our content form, and there we go. So now we can actually print out that data once we run it. Um, of course we have, oops, we wanna spell initial correctly. There we go. And let's, we have our con comment form actually inside the context, so we can go into our post detail here. And right underneath comments, I'm gonna add it in here. And I'll just say comment form. And of course we wanna wrap this into a form with a method of post and the action going directly to where it is. And then we're gonna close off that form. We wanna put an input type of submit, so input button here, input type equals to submit and value equals to post comment and then class will do btn and btn default and then we want a csrf token so csrf token and there we go so now we've got a comment so i'm going to go ahead and post a new comment so say new comment and hit post comment what we should see in our thing is post data and we do so what we got here is we've got our comment, new comment, object ID, and content type. Perfect, so it's all the things that we wanna to see to actually create a brand new comment. So now what we wanna do is actually create this comment inside of this form valid method. Um, I'm gonna do it in here and then you know down the line we might wanna refactor this to do it somewhere different. Uh, but for now we're gonna do it inside of this comment is valid and I'm gonna get each item in here. And realistically, I wanna change the comment form to just be in form because we're not gonna have another form on our detail for a little while. So I'm gonna just come in here and call it form. The context can stay as comment form, but as far as the view is concerned, we're just gonna call it form. Uh, it just it makes it a little bit easier for us to work with as well. So I'm gonna say C type equals to form.cleanedata.get, and this is gonna be content type. Um, and then we wanna do object ID, equals to form.cleaneddata.get, and that's object ID. And then finally, we wanna get our content data, which is equal to form.cleaneddata.get, and that is content. So that's gonna get all three of the things that we need to create a new comment. So let's make sure comments in, uh, is actually imported, and it is. And then we also wanna import the content type again. Um, so we did delete it, but we wanna bring it back in actually to our view. And here we go. So down here, we first of all want to, inside of our detail view, we wanna turn this content type actually into content type, equals to content type dot objects dot get. And now we're gonna say model equals to C type. So this is coming from the model, because remember how we actually set it in the get content type instance, we set it based off of the model class, right? So it actually is getting it from the model right here. And then we have that object ID, so that has to be an integer because of how the form is, so the form won't even validate if it's not an integer. And then finally, we have our contact data. So I'll just say new comment and created equals to comment.objects.get or create. And this is gonna be a few things here, so I'm gonna separate the lines out. And the first thing is user equals to request.user content type is equal to content type, um, object ID is equal to object ID or obj ID, and then finally content equals to content data. And then we can put an if clause here and say if created, print yay, it worked, or yeah, it worked. Um, all right, so going back in here, we're gonna do some new data, post that comment, um, notice that there is some new data down here now. And what we see here is, yeah, it worked. So our comment actually commented as we expected. I'm gonna get rid of this cre if created clause here. And we're gonna update that stuff a little bit later. But now we've got this form kind of working the way we want it to do. And then um, inside of our template, I'm just gonna make a little change here and load in Django crispy forms. So, J or crispy form tags, excuse me. So crispy forms and tags. And we just wanna make the form look a little bit better itself. And we'll say crispy. 
So now if we go back in here, we see now that content is coming through here. Um, of course, you could add some additional stuff in here as far as the content is concerned. I'm actually going to get rid of the label for it in general for content. And I just say label equals to a blank label. And then that way it just says comments and you can post your own comment. Um, okay, so that is creating comments. Now, this is using, of course, the content type stuff. If we weren't using the content type, all of this would be a lot easier. But this is now a lot more flexible. So it's not necessarily better or worse. It's just more flexible for us if we want to use our comments somewhere else. Of course, the only reason it's more difficult it has to do with this content type stuff. Otherwise, we could just we could just ignore that completely and our form would be very, very simple. It would just have this because then in our view, we could set our user here and then our post here. So that is something that we also might consider doing when we actually run this. But the reason I did it this way is to show you the flexibility of it as well as to realize that there are a lot of different ways to actually solve these problems inside of Django. So sometimes it takes some creativity to make it happen and understanding that there are options, but then at the same time, the best option is not always the most obvious. So that's why you also wanna try out new things and thus learning about content types and generic foreign keys is pretty awesome. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.